ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Kim, and you are on my channel. Today, I am bringing you part one of a three-part series for Hexit, How to Tinker's Construct. This is going to be all about the Tinker's Construct mod, 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 which is an awesome addition to Hexit. It's been there for a while, but just recently updated. Uh, changed quite a bit of things, actually. Not sure if I'm entirely happy or not happy with it, but... um. I'm going to point them out to you anyway, and I'm going to get you guys started in case you haven't gotten started already with uh, the smelt tree and all that stuff. First things first, I am going to point out that I do have another video that is exclusively about the smelt tree, and I will be linking it now. You'll see it. I promise. I promise I'll do it. I won't be lazy. I'll do it. And um, that one is a little bit outdated, but it has a really good... Uh, full smelt tree thing how to use the smelt tree which I didn't do a full I'm not going to do a full one for uh, for this series but I'm going to link you to that one I'm just going to show what what's changed in this new series smelt tree is hiding down there but um, first things first I'm just going to show you guys uh, all the different things that you will need some of them not at first but eventually in order to use the uh, tinkers construct mod correctly and properly and to its full extent first things first in the building order of things, you're going to want to know how to make a blank pattern. Blank patterns are going to be used all over the place, nearly constantly. Uh, very important. You can use uh, different kinds of wood planks and sticks. Uh, and just a warning, if you ever find that one of these patterns don't work with a certain type of wood, some of these patterns only work with vanilla wood and some of them work with any kind of wood. I believe blank patterns do will work with like the new Hexit uh, trees the wood that you get from the hex trees but i don't think like the stencil tra table or tool some of them may not so just a warning uh but that's that's the most important part is the blank pattern and uh the second what you're going to need is you're going to need a stencil table and this is how you make one it's just going to be a uh, wood plank and a blank pattern on top let me get myself out of, out of cheat mode i did cheat to get all these in whatever blah 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 <laughs> but uh, uh just so it's a little bit cleaner for you guys to see uh, so wood plank and blank pattern and that's going to give you the stencil table and uh, I'll show you more about stencils actually I'll show you stencils now just real briefly and I'll revisit them in the next one stencils you put a blank pattern in there and then you can click next pattern or previous pattern to switch through all the different patterns available and you will need these patterns in order to build them so for example you would need a uh, a let's just say I want, to use, I want to use something that you'd run into really early. You'd run into a tool rod pattern pretty early. These things are pretty important. That's how you would make the pattern. You just pull it right off. Uh, and patterns will be used. I'm going to skip this one for now. Uh, should have probably put them in a different order, but whatever. Pattern uh, will be used in part builders in order to make, um, in order to make the uh, materials that you actually need. This is a wood rod. This is a byproduct, a stick, like you would use for a torch, etc. Um, and I'll go into more in info on that as well in the next video. I just want to show you guys how to build these. So this would be your part builder is just going to be a solid log and then a blank pattern right above it. Um, the tool station is what you'd come next. Uh, you can use this to build any of these tools right here uh, using the wood rod. You would use you'd have to create a um, binding and then the tip, for example, the head of the of the pickaxe. Uh, you can create uh, daggers. Daggers are throwable. All these have different special abilities. This is a rapier, uh, which has armor piercing, quick strike, charge boost, and a special ability of backpedal. It tells you the durability and the damage, etc., etc., etc. And um, broadsword. Uh, Matic. The cutter Matic is a versatile farming tool. is effective on wood, dirt, and plants. Uh, so some cool stuff here, frying pan, arrows, short bows, chisels, battle signs, and frying pans, if you ever want to hit someone with a frying pan. And then the tool station is also where you go in order to repair tools and add modifications on it, which I will show you again in the next video. So that's all this. Now this is uh, pretty useful. This is a pattern chest. I have some patterns in here already. Really simple, just a chest and another one of those dang blank patterns. So um, that's right here. What you do is you just put your patterns in the pattern chest, and if you have your pattern chest, and you'll see it again over there in the next video, by the tool, or no, not by the tool station, by the part builder, you can easily just bring them in and out of the, uh, of the part builder. Really convenient. This is the upgraded version of the tool station, and it is made using certain blocks. 
uh, of pretty expensive material, but you can use blocks of iron, which are a lot cheaper, but I just use blocks of emerald because they're awesome looking. Seared bricks on top and a tool station, and uh, this allows you to build some really cool stuff such as a hammer, a lumber axe, excavator, scythe, a cleaver, which I want to try so bad, battle axe, and then all the normal stuff as well. So pretty cool. This is like the update, upgraded version of the initial tool station, and uh, you should definitely try to get one of these when you can. Some of these are awesome, but they do cost more, and you'll see that again in next video. I'm giving you guys a lot of, a lot of cliffhangers right here. Now, right before I go, I'm going to tell you something else that's pretty cool uh, to leave out on. They've added a couple cool little things to the game, and that would be these bushes that are actually smeltable to make ores. Um, so if you find these bushes, they only grow in dark places. Actually, this one will grow in a light place. Excuse me. I don't. I'm not entirely sure which one that or that ore bush is. And like diamond. Um, but these guys, this is copper. That's aluminum. I think that's gold. And maybe this one's gold. I think that might be gold. But they'll they'll grow in like caves and stuff underground. And if you get, if you pick them up, you can actually replant them somewhere else. I can't get out. Uh, you can actually replant them somewhere else, and um grow your own ores so really cool addition there uh, i'm sure it's going to be very useful and very popular it's night time though and that's the end of this first part of the three-part series of hexit how to use the tinker's construct part two will include and i'll have them all linked together part two will include a um how to actually create uh the beginning tools and then part three will be smelting and creating those smelted tools so Get ready for part two, guys. It'll be coming out shortly, very shortly indeed. And thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscribe for more stuff just like this, other kind of Minecraft and other games as well. And uh, share with your friends if you think anyone else could use this information. Thank you guys very much, and I'll see you again soon.